All right. Well, first of all, uh, we've heard the news. They won't lower the rates yet. If inflation remains at 2% in the UK, w will they go down at the next opportunity? Well, uh, the, the interest rates are reviewed uh, periodically, as you probably know. Um, but there are a number of things that make up the underlying inflation rate. So 2% 2, 2 is the headline. But there are a number of components to that. And um, really, if in terms of simplification, there are two types. There's that uh, type of inflation that uh, we associate through up and down. So we would see that in the, the fuel prices, for example, mm -hmm. uh, or maybe the cost of uh, tomatoes or beef or chicken. Um, and and they, they are very much flexible. Um, but then there's other types of inflation, the one that economists call sticky inflation. And sticky inflation is a type of inflation that doesn't go down. Uh, and typically that will be things like salaries. Um, so the service sector, hotels, restaurants, uh, hairdressers, I mean, th those costs, when they go up, they, they are much harder to, to bring down. In fact, they don't really come down. And what's happened this time is that the service uh, sector, the, the, the sticky part of the inflation, has remained a little bit more stubborn than they anticipate. So that's, that's why the Bank of England, although they've reached the target and you'd have thought, well, that should in itself trigger a decrease, they're, they're keeping a watchful eye to make sure that this is a permanent uh, direction. So how long do they need to watch before they say, OK, it looks stable, we can lower rates? Sure. Well, uh, I mean, the Bank of England gives some information, uh, they give some indication. So there are a lot of economists uh, worldwide who are, who are listening to every word and every uh, in, innuendo in what they say. But the expectation is that we probably won't see an interest rate cut until the end of this summer mm -hmm. uh, and possibly another one towards the end of the year. Um, but it will be very dependent on a lot of factors uh, that, that make up this uh, headline inflation rate. Mm. And when that figure does go down, uh, assuming it will eventually, where can we expect interest rates to go? Because uh, a lot of people who have borrowed at the moment are used to quite historically low interest rates from zero to two percent, something like that. So what is the new normal when it comes to these rates, when they do start to ease? Yeah, uh, again, consensus suggests that we may uh, end up at around three um, percent, of course, depending on many factors. As far as, as borrowers are concerned, um, of course, if you fixed your rate, mm -hmm. uh, then you're probably stuck with that rate until until you come off that particular package. So it's people who are on a, on a variable rate uh, loan who are, who are more uh, interested in rates coming down. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, speaking of borrowers, are they, are they worried? Are they concerned at the moment at the bank? Do you have anybody that's uh, perhaps struggling to make their payments, looking at refinancing or anything of that nature? Well, I think many of our clients have, have fixed their rate because I think what people struggled with mainly was the uncertainty, especially a, a year or two ago when rates were on the way up. No one really knew where it was going to end up. It's, it's quite clear that, that the direction of travel is reversing or has reversed, even though it's not manifested in the rates. Um, so that's making people a little bit more comfortable. Um, as I said, most people have fixed. Um, so, so and, and generally we found that the economy in Gibraltar has been quite resilient. We've lived through tough times, but Gibraltar's uh, economy has, has held well. So, um, but anyone, of course, who's experiencing difficulties, um, and it's not just because of interest rates, could be for other reasons, they're always advised to contact their bank to, to get help uh, when, when needed.